This used to be a big community beach. It's probably because this place where they carried out numerous excavations in the Soviet era was known to have bad soil, and under the Soviet Union, they did not build Artek on this territory. In fact, it's a historical cemetery. We don't see the houses of the Muslim cemetery. When I was little and a teenager, the tombstones were still visible. At the time, there was a big community beach, a long stretch of coast almost half a kilometer long at Hurovsky Kamnye. On the Gurzuf embankment, there were two small municipal beaches, less in total than this beach. Gurzuf lost most of its beach. Gruzov land was also lost along with this land during the transfer of land to Artek. We tried to prove our case in court, referring to the fact that this is a municipal land and it does not belong to Artek. We had a second cessation, but it was a negative result for us. We have the plaintiffs in mind. It matters for majority of Gruzov residents who have lost the ability to use the beach themselves, as well as their relatives who come to visit. The beach closed in 2016, 2017. The groundwork had already begun in 2015. Since then, it had already become very hard to swim there because of the heavy machinery. There was a lot of dust, but the territory was open. Now there's no access to it. What are you planning to do next? We'll see. If the will of the people is there, then we will take the case to the high European level. If not, then we won't do that. This issue has not been completely resolved yet. Here is our tech. It starts there. There, the Genoa's fortress, the cliff. It starts from there and goes all the way to Idag. Tell me, what was it built inside? Do you think a lot of them? What is going on with it? You can see the building site for yourself. I think that it's absolutely hideous. This needs to be sorted out. All this was authorized under Ukrainian control. All the houses below were built under Russian control mainly. I think this is right. You can't carry out construction in such areas. It was Artek's natural lungs. It was a scenic place. You can't uncontrollably increase the number of residents, at least those coming to Gruzov without the appropriate infrastructure. We have emergency water treatment facilities. We clarify the situation with the beaches with them. Igor, you are a social activist. Our viewers want to know, are you not afraid? No, as you can see, I'm alive. And saying that, I think, I'm not hiding anything from you. You can only be afraid of one thing. You can only be afraid of fear. Everything else is not important, I think. This is my personal opinion. Maybe you don't agree with me. What is your personal evaluation of the situation in Crimea? I am someone who was born in the USSR. I lived in Crimea when it was still part of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. I studied in mainland Russia, brought up on Russian literature. I love Russia. I don't think that what happened here was a tragedy when Crimea moved under Russian jurisdiction. In some way, life has gotten better. If you take health care and access to public services, it's better. The multi-service center opened up, where you can access practically all government services quickly and to a high standard, without queuing. Medicine has definitely gotten better, but aspects haven't changed. For example, the fact that Gruzov got rid of its remaining autonomy did not affect it for the better. It's the little things, which are not everywhere and which you can live with. There is not enough asphalt on the roads, the authorities are not making as many improvements as we would like. I don't consider those to be fundamental things. I think it will all be resolved in due course.